Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose a, b, and c are real numbers, and a is non-zero. If a times b is equal to a times c, then b is equal to c. Now in this series, we are using a list of 10 axioms for the real number system. And I'll leave that list of axioms in the description of the video below. Now in proving the theorem, we are going to be using the following axioms. So axioms one and two are just the commutative and associative laws. Axiom six tells us that there exists a real number one distinct from zero, such that one times x is equal to x for all real numbers x. And axiom seven tells us for every non-zero real number x, there exists a real number that we call the reciprocal of x that satisfies the property that x times the reciprocal of x is equal to one. Now, a thing to notice here is, by axiom 1, we have, for every non-zero real number x, this real number, which we call the reciprocal of x, not only does it satisfy this equality, but it will also satisfy this equality. Right? Just apply axiom 1. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. And to prove the theorem, we're trying to prove if AB is equal to AC, then B is equal to C. So let's suppose AB is equal to AC. From here, the whole goal is to show that B is equal to C. And we're going to show that B is equal to C through a chain of equalities. And through this chain of equalities, we're going to be applying axioms 1, 2, 6, and 7. So first of all, by axiom 6, we have B is equal to 1 times B. But then, we apply axiom 7. Since a is non-zero, we can apply axiom 7 to a. So, taking x to be a, we have that the reciprocal of a times a is equal to 1. And then, we apply axiom 2 and move the parentheses around a times b. And by assumption, a times b is equal to a times c. But then, we apply axiom 2 again, we move the parentheses around the reciprocal of a times a. But then the reciprocal of a times a is equal to 1. Then by axiom 6, 1 times c is equal to c. So through this chain of equalities, we have shown that b is equal to c. And so what we have shown here is, if a b is equal to a c, then b is equal to c. And that is exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. Now, a similar argument will show if b times a is equal to c times a, then b is equal to c. But you can apply the same sort of argument that we did above to prove this. Alternatively, you could use the theorem that we just proved in order to prove this. Because if you suppose b a is equal to c a, then by axiom 1, we can flip these guys around. We have AB is equal to AC. But we have just proven if AB is equal to AC, then B is equal to C. So that implies B is equal to C, which is exactly what we want. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.